Welcome to Bear, brought to you by Giddy, the world's largest sexual health platform. I'm your host, Marissa Sullivan, and today I'm here with entrepreneur Sean Stewart. Yeah! Sean! Oh my gosh, how are you? you? It's been a couple years. You look great. I'm about to turn 41. Let's talk about that. When did you start noticing changes as a man? Well, it's not really... It's... As you get older, it's like your testosterone levels drop. You're mm. not as sexually active. Okay. Your energy level kind of drops, which I mean, I still have energy. I can still work out for like an hour straight, box for like an hour straight. You're just not as horny all the time. Is no, that what it is? it's like on a wet. No, I am it comes a little and goes. bit, but it comes and goes. Okay. But that's normal. That's normal for someone my age. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like of I have my moments where I'm like sexually sexual, and there's mm-hmm. moments where I'm not. And that's so important to talk about because I feel like at all ages, men and women, it's okay to not be in the mood. A lot of men my age won't talk about it because of insecurity or or I could, I do it every second of the day. Yeah, I'm always ready to go, baby. It's false It's it's false. They're really not. Like they either have to take like some kind Mm -hmm. of like Viagra. But as you get older, it's just like people are not as honest. I'm very real because it's, something you can't help. It happens to you as you get older. But I think this, you know, you just have to be honest about it and just don't beat yourself up that it happens with older age. Yeah, no, it's so important to share. So people, because people feel so much pressure to be this man. Yeah, are they insecure or, or yeah. Yes. Or they feel insecure about it. Okay, that's But important. it's just with getting yeah. older, it happens. Growing up in Hollywood yes. and the music industry, how did all of that, you obviously didn't have the same childhood as everyone, uh, someone in the Midwest. No. <laughs> How did all of that affect your views on women, sex, relationships? It was very, you know, it was different. It was just like going on tour with my dad and leaving a show of his through the back lot in a limo. And there's literally 5,000 people waiting outside, screaming, jumping on the limo. Ugh. I was like, wow, this is is this normal? So it's like, yeah. what be, you know, you live a different lifestyle. It's just like, you know, it's not normal. It's, it's not normal to other people, you know, but it's normal to me. What was your view on women? When you're seeing these women, th- did it affect how you treated women? Did, it, did anyone have to put you in your place at an early age? Or were you respectful of, of women? When I was younger, I wasn't as nice as I am. Okay. As a human being, like I'm a lot nicer now than I used to be. But Is that's it because just, of those experiences? You know, just young age. You young know, age. Just, young. Yeah. Not being told. Not being told. And to mature. And as you get older, men mature at a later age than women. Who talked to you about sex? Did your dad? Did Rod or Alana? Did they? Did they both have their spiel? I don't. Know. I remember my parents having a talk, but I don't. It was so long ago. Yeah. I think my dad had the talk with me once. How old were you? The birds and the bees, he would call it, or the he would have some funny name, like 12, 13, 14, Mm -hmm. around there. What was the funny name? Do you remember? I have no idea. It was so long ago. I don't remember. (laughs) And he has a silly personality. That's probably where you get your sense of humor. We're the same person. Let's. Oh, that's really cute. And your mom is such an advocate for the cancer community. She's the president and CEO of the Farrah Fawcett Foundation. Has she inspired you to kind of get into it? She's always like, go get a checkup every single couple months. Go get blood drawn Mm -hmm. and see if there's any cancer. And you're good because of your family history, you've checked prostate, all that. Everything is good. Because you're 41 years old, but we want people to know how important it is. Especially as you get, especially as you get older, you want to get checked up. And you want to make sure that there is no growth or there's no form of cancer growing because you want to catch it at an early stage. To settle the minds of the males out there who might be scared to go in and get their, you know what, checked. Tell me what it's like going in. It's not as bad as, from what I hear. It's not as bad as you think. What do they the do? Obvious, they just they put on a little glove and they, just, they drop the, you drop the pants and they just touch the ball sack, <laughs> see if there's anything there. And just, it's just a, you know, just, it's a doctor's hand in a glove. Just, you really got to go out there and, and just go to the doctor and get it checked and get blood work. Make sure you're healthy because you want to get it before it gets worse. Yes. Because early detection, it's so yes. much easier to take you care of it. You want to catch it before it's it It's a slow growing cancer. Worse. But your first time though, like now you seem like an old pro with this, but your first time, were you, were you kind of nervous or were you like, oh, not really, this not is just really what's got to happen. This is just what's going to happen. It's very mechanical, right? Yeah. It's just like, 
It's not. It's, it happens every single day. People go in and they get checkups. Yeah. And what else? What else have you gotten? You get your blood work done. Blood, blood work pressure's done, good. Everything, cholesterol. Blood, cholesterol. Everything. What was your most embarrassing? Besides, you know, coming to fast. Like, what? What other things embarrass guys during sex? Well, I think the most thing about a guy, about a guy is like they put so much pressure on them. So, oh my God, I gotta do this good. I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta, you know. Um, it's probably like going soft sometimes. I mm -hmm. think that's happened to a lot of people that they don't admit. It's happened to me a few times. Is it because your mind will it's wander? It's like anxiety. Okay, it's like performance so it's anxiety. Per performance anxiety. Yeah, that's a big one. And a lot of people get it. So how do you steer your mind back to, do you ever, do you focus on the task at hand and the female <laughs> at hand? Or are you a guy that will kind of, you know, I'm guilty of it. You think of something else. Just sexy. go with the flow. Okay, so you're, you stay, try to stay in the moment. Yeah. All right. Thank you.